In a World Cup of surprises, perhaps no two teams have been as underestimated by pundits as Russia and Japan. While Japan benefited from an early red card against Colombia and only managed a draw against an excellent Senegal side, qualification is in their hands against a disappointing Polish team. Japan play a possession-based 4-2-3-1, but they're not afraid to go direct as well. Their 4-2-3-1 relies heavily on two superb midfielders, captain and Eintracht Frankfurt stalwart Makoto Hasebi and Getafe's Gakushi Basaki, who has surely announced himself on the world stage at this tournament. Hasebi is the linchpin of this side, roaming the pitch and setting the tempo. He likes to drop in between centre-backs Meo Yoshida and Gen Shoji, giving Japan something of a 3-3-1-3 in possession from a deep build-up. From this position, Hasebi can carry the ball, which he does with no little skill, or play directly forwards to Shibazaki or long and wide, either to fullbacks Hiroki Satai or Yuto Nagatomo, who push very high up the pitch, or wide attackers Genki Haraguchi or Takashi Inoue. If long options are not available, and Inoue especially is good at finding space wide on the left, then Japan will create triangles of passing as they move the ball forwards. Hasebi or Shibasaki will form passing triangles with Yoshida, who has proved particularly adept with longer range passing this tournament too, and Shoji, shifting the ball up and wide using the fullbacks as Japan seek to progress the ball in a controlled fashion towards the opposition half. Hasebi and Shibazaki will also move wide into the areas usually occupied by the fullbacks when the centre backs are in possession. The fullbacks push ahead, and whichever midfielder has taken up this position, usually Hasebi, then opens up that flank for progression, either playing directly up the line or infield for a return pass. Ahead of this progression or direct passing, Japan's front four play with a degree of flexibility, but certain facets of play are fairly consistent. Inoue on the left likes to stay wide, and by loitering on the flank, he is often in space and finds room to run into. On the right, Haraguchi or Keisuke Honda, the former AC Milan midfielder who has been used as a substitute so far, tend to tuck inside more. Behind these two, and striker Yuya Asako, is the creative attacking midfielder Shinji Kagawa. Perhaps Japan's only true top-class player, Kagawa is the wild card in the system, with room to drop, move wide, especially on the right, and push up high. Asako works hard to run the channels or hold up the ball, creating room for Kagawa. As Japan build, Kagawa or the other attackers will drop off and push up. The pattern of build-up with the high fullbacks and the recycling of possession among the backline and the central midfielders means that the front four can move and be found in space. Inoue drops off to take a pass and play in Nagatomo, or Haraguchi drops in, playing it to Kagawa, who moves wide and accelerates into the wide space himself. It's a shifting front four that creates a dynamic pattern of movement that can be hard to mark and creates opportunities for quick passing and movement shifting that puts Japan on the front foot. As an aside, Japan are not without their flaws. Kawashima has looked poor in goal. Osako works hard, but is not a natural finisher. While replacement striker Shinji Okazaki brings hard work and intelligence, but a game more predicated on bringing other players into the match than finishing chances himself, despite his good international scoring record. Nonetheless, Japan have impressed at this tournament. A surprise, apparently, to the Japanese public and press, as well as to the World Cup watchers, who saw Group H pan out very differently than they expected. Tactically excellent, organised and inventive, Japan should not be underestimated anymore. If you want to know more about Japan or any other team this summer, OneFootball is the app for you. There's constantly updated news, squad information, fixture lists and all the rest. Take a look at the link in the description to find out more. Thanks for watching.